Hello guys, good morning and good evening. It's me again, Ryan, back with... Uh, I'd say a good trading day. Yeah, what's well, not bad. So today we had a lot of movers, but most of them are garbage. Uh, most of them were Chinese stocks. So yeah, Chinese stocks were hot today. It's probably because of the news, I don't know. But yeah, let's look at our watch. So today we had a lot. And most of them are Chinese stocks like uh, Momo, PDD, JD, and Baba. So they're like gapping up today, but not a lot. So they're below 3%. And all of them are below 3%. So I checked all of them. Ego, you know, they it's less than $10, less than, I don't know, less than $20, less than $20, less than $20. So I don't really trade less stocks that are less than $20 and they only move about 50 cents. So it's an, this are a no, no for me. So I, I moved here. So Dova 12 million low float. Nope. Baba too expensive. So nope. So I move. <laughs> The only one I have left are these three. So I focus on this three, which is JD, PDD, and Momo. And for the three of them, JD was the only one who has a really good pre-market move. Not really good, but good pre-market move. Momo was and PDD was a bit choppy in, in, uh, in the pre-market. So I did draw some lines in jd's you can see so this is pre-market high this is probably a daily level and another daily level or i think this was a daily level and it's surprisingly it's also a pre-market low sort of yeah i don't really make it really accurate but somehow it's around this area so as you can see before i trade i use this level a lot on this trade um, I say if it continues to go off above around this area, then I'll probably go long and you know try to reach this level. And if it gets rejected, well, it it depends. So you know sometimes you don't really know where the stock is going, so sometimes you have to kind of ride it. So yeah, let's let's see what I did. So around this time, I was watching uh, JD, PDD, and Momo, and looking which one has the highest volume at the open. So currently, uh, looking right now, uh, actually JD was the one because JD opened with around four hundred thousand volume, which is not a lot, and PDD only had one hundred fifty thousand, and Momo had fifty thousand. So I was focusing mainly on JD because that's the highest. That's the one who has the highest volume. So the reason why I re-entered here because it did not. I was looking to short this, but I saw this two hundred moving average, and I saw this level, so it got rejected. So I I got in. So I got in below VWAP, which is a bit dangerous because sometimes you could just go back. But I was just risking about 10 cents here, you know, that around that much. And my target was 50 cents, uh, not 50 cents, 20 cents. So around this area. So as you can see, it did not hit my target at first. I was hoping to have uh, to reach at least 2869 i was kind of confident that it's gonna reach see i'm already in my one r kind of so uh yeah this 180 r helps so if you guys can try this this is really good for you not if, if you're not really good at math like me this is really good for you to calculate how much it move on this candle so this is 180 r in one minute so yeah so it wasn't if if it was if it was strong I could have if it was strong I was looking for green movements here but there's nothing at all so I was like maybe I'll I'll take I'll get out I'll get out since it's not 
it's not moving at all since it's one hour i'll just get out 100 percent so i did i did get out there and i said maybe i'll just re-enter long if you know it goes back here but i said okay let's not give back profit let's you know let's closely closely watch it and see what happens yeah so as you can see there's a good week here a very long week so i said oh shit i missed it i should have entered here maybe it's gonna go now but it's actually hovering around so i waited for more confirmation waiting for more if i should re-enter and yeah it dumped and i said okay i have a level here if if this breaks it's gonna break this ma i think if i'm not wrong i think this is yeah this is 200 ma and this one was 100 ma this is 45 this is 20 and this is 9 so i said if this breaks it's gonna dump to 28 that's about 30 cent move so i can probably risk uh you know a few cents and then uh go there and this will probably form into a a, a a wedge like a triangle so i waited for that you know it's not breaking the vwap vwap was around 28.46 i said you know if it holds 50 i'm gonna re-enter short which i think i did yep that's why i did that so i'm probably risking around this area Yep, there you go. Yeah, so I was, <laughs> this is funny. So don't ignore this. I was cleaning my keyboard and I ended up taking profit. So I have my hotkey as insert home and page up to get out. Um, But yeah it's weird <laughs> i just realized i keep pressing take profit you know after a few minutes while i was cleaning my keyboard that's like a stupid mistake so i re-entered for another long so 28.23 my target oh yeah look at this see this this is huge this is like when i when i trade like this just look for three digits if you see three digits that's not disappearing it means it's legit so it's and there's i i exactly have a line there right so if you know i mean i said i'm gonna wait but i think i took profit a bit here yep that's what i did because uh you know that's i just want to take probably i just want to take profit just to ease myself because you know, i can't wait i'm very impatient so yep target was here i was hoping around 27.98 but i think i did not hit i said okay i should take more because it looks like it's reversing so yeah i was out majority here because oh did, did it go 27.98 yeah man 27.98 so yeah this one is the previous day close um i say i did not see big orders here so i said i don't think it's gonna go that much but you know we'll see so this was my last last share um yeah i think yeah so i was telling myself should i wait for more and get out here or get out at break even somewhere here and i said if this makes a new one minute high like around this area you know sometimes sometimes it get rejected rejects it gets rejected here and then go down more so i said since i have like i i think i have 20 percent left here probably 25 percent i can't remember uh since i have this was a big uh, um position because i have i re-entered here full took some off here by accident so i re-added more so this was more than my full size that's why you know what i have here was good enough for me to uh to just stop trading so i was hoping 
I will this will reverse but it was making new one minute highs one minute one minute, more minute and I said oh maybe it's not gonna um you know continue so I you know I immediately said okay I'm gonna I'm gonna be strict I don't want this I don't want to miss this 10 cents I'm gonna get out at 15 so I was closely looking at level two at the ask if if the price is rising yeah and if the price is rising i'm gonna get out look at timing sales they're all green everyone's hitting the ask then i get out even though even though i see a lot of you know big big round numbers here like you see this one 2010 you see this this is uh, you know you could probably go back but yeah but yeah see i'm out so yeah that's about it it was it was an okay day like my lines helped a lot and you know sometimes you can just trade with just support and resistance and just forget about this moving averages you know the, the way i trade is i only trade the open the first 30 minutes or first 10 minutes of the open that's my goal because i have a day job uh, i need to prepare for work and i can't afford to miss you know the big moves at the open and sometimes you get 180 r move at the open you know if let's say jds like a dollar you know sometimes it moves a dollar itself on the first second minute so sometimes you just you know you just stop so today i consider i controlled myself i did not over trade um yeah uh, so that was a bit boring but i hope you guys learned something from it you can probably watch this un until the very end i stopped recording around you can see the time uh, around 10 o'clock yeah have fun It really played. Uh, yeah, so. Yeah, so. If you haven't, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, I like doing this stuff. Uh, if you have friends who has the same interest in trading. Or, you know, who's curious about day trading. Maybe just the open. Show them. Show them the uh, this video. So, I would like you to know that don't judge the way i trade because i only trade open so if you think it's over trading sometimes that might, it's been working for me i've been doing this for uh quite a long time now i've been focusing only at just open because you know i don't have time so yeah if this works for me maybe i'll you know probably make a proper documentation how to trade the open uh but yeah uh today's monday we have four more days to, to trade so have a good day everyone peace